I'm Pablo Science, trying to stay safe. And we're here for the inaugural signing of Clarissa Alvarez into, uh, well, we'll talk about the school later as we go along. But we just want to invite everyone to join us here today for this momentous occasion. It's also a moment where probably the first wrestler in Unified School history to ever go at a state to wrestle in college. So at this time, I'd like to introduce Athletic Director Daniel Benuelos. Well, right on. Good afternoon, everybody. Like Mr. Sainz mentioned, my name is Mr. Daniel Benuelos. I'm the Athletic Director at Orange Grove High School. Um, on behalf of both CHS Athletics, um, this is a monumental day for not just um, our, or our city, but um, women's wrestling for us. Um, Clarissa Alvarez is a uh, young gal who puts in a lot of time and effort, and she um, she didn't give up. She she had a goal set, and um, personally myself, I've known her since seventh grade. So I was her teacher out at the middle school before I came over to the high school. So this is uh, like I said, not just a big day for um, wrestling, but uh, it can, it shows that females um, can do anything that they put their minds to. Uh, with hard work and dedication. So I'd like to thank coaches for having me and family for having me as well. All right. Thank you. One of the best AD of the year, not too long ago. AD of the year every year here in Orange Cove. Uh, coach White, we also have Coach White joining us. Go ahead and say hello to everyone from all the way from Oregon. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Hi. So I'd like to start out, well, and we all have his parents here today joining us. Clarissa, if you can introduce your parents for us. My mom, Gabriela Alvarez, and my dad, Jose Alvarez. Nice to meet you, Coach. All right, and just make sure it is recording, right, Clarissa? Sorry? You press record, you press record right? Yeah. Okay. And I just want to say, you know, it's been an honor coaching Clarissa the last three years. I've known her the last four years. She's wrestled uh, in the district the whole time coming up to the ranks. We, she probably has a little bit of uh, – give a little credit to a young wrestler named uh, Paulo Juarez, who was – the champion wrestler coming up ahead of her kind of paved the way, but she totally eclipsed all her records and, and championships. So uh, without going further, we would be remiss not to mention her name in this because Clarissa is the most successful wrestler in school history, um, both male and female, but especially female. And we've got some good ones come through here. Uh, again, uh, it's all due to Clarissa's wit and wisdom how she's, Sharked me into coaching a few more years till she graduated. And, uh, you know, I probably would have still coached, but she definitely dug it in there into me and uh, got me motivated to stick around. And I'm glad I did. And I'm proud to say I'm uh, Coach Clarissa's coach throughout her year, and we're ready to hand over the reins to the next level. So at this time, I'd like to hand it over to uh, All American Clarissa Alvarez. Hi. Um, I'd like to say thank you to uh, our athletic director, Manuelos, um, all my family that's here and are watching this later, uh, and the admin uh, from the school, and my coaches here, and my coach, Tubi. Um, I've wrestled for five years now. Um, uh, I decided because I thought it would be a good experience to have. <laughs> I'm excited to get started in Oregon, and it's going to be tough with all that's going on right now, but I hope to do well over there. Um, Go ahead, Clarissa, can you tell us uh, what, what are you excited for here in, in, in these times, these crazy times, unprecedented times with different things going on? Uh, what can you tell us about uh, the future, the near future, and your college choice? Um, I chose Southwestern Oregon Community College because I think it would be a good uh, start-off point for me to see if I'd like to continue wrestling after. Um, and then I'd give me the experience of like, being on my own independent. And um, I chose to uh, major in computer science. All right. <laughs> but at this time, <laughs> we'll introduce the coach of the hour and the coach of the future. Coach, uh, is it Joshua or just Josh? Uh, I go by Josh. Coach Josh, Josh, Josh White. Coach, go ahead. And, uh, could you tell us a little bit of what you saw at the state meet 
and a little bit about the program in general and what the future looks like for uh, Southwest. Tournament. All right. Uh, yeah, I was fortunate enough to be able to make the California State Tournament this year. Um, the year before, I, I wasn't able to make it, and I was really glad to be back in, in your guys' state and, and watching wrestling. Um, the way that they're doing the women's wrestling in, in California is pretty awesome. Um, uh, it was my first time watching it with the, the girls and the boys wrestling together at the same, same state meet. And um, just the toughness with Clarissa, and it, it speaks volumes just placing in that tournament. I've had girls All-American at the WCWA, which is a mix of all the – the colleges together, Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, NEIA, and uh, junior college. Um, play, be, I had them be an All American without even placing at the California State Tournament. So, uh, for her to take six at that tournament says a lot about her, her toughness, um, being able to stick with stuff and, and set goals. Uh, I know her and I talked a little bit on the phone today about. Um, the time between now and September when she shows up on campus and, and uh, stuff that she can do to, to become successful. And I'm uh, super excited to have her be a part of the program. I think she's a great kid. Um, something that I admire, first generation college student. I could uh, relate to that a little bit. I was the first generation out of my family to graduate from college. And, and uh, we get a lot of those at you too, Pablo. That's yeah. awesome, man. Um, and, and it, it, that's just a neat thing. Uh, little brothers, little sisters, nieces, nephews, teammates, you know, whether you think they're watching or not, they're, they're watching you and, and you're setting the, the future for them and being a good role model. And, and I'm just uh, super excited to have you at our college. Uh, everything's kind of working out. We got our degree program and um, she's going to have some really tough workout partners. I'm bringing back a, a girl that all American for, for me last year from California. Um, a third year. So she's coming back uh, fall term to work out with you and we'll have a couple of other girls. And I'm just really excited to uh, get the opportunity to, uh, to be your coach. And I, and I think uh, great things are going to happen. Awesome. Thanks coach for your words of wisdom and words of motivation. We're looking forward. We know she's going to be in good hands. That's why we had a choice between five schools to go to and yours uh, kept coming to the top every time we'd, we put out a paper, a spreadsheet, and talk about what, what we were looking for out of a college and what Clarissa was looking for out of a college and a team. So uh, ironically enough, Clarissa and I both placed sixth in the state. <laughs> it looks like we're both going to be the first college graduates. I already graduated, so Clarissa, again, you got to you're following in my footsteps. Uh, I hope, I hope she, she'll do better as well uh, in everything she does. And uh, we both uh, were the first ever's at our respective schools to place in state. So but that, the connection that it goes beyond that, we're just uh, glad that Clarissa was on our team and we were able to coach her and get her through. And mom and dad, uh, we're glad you guys are here today. I'm, I'm, I know there's a little gallery of family that hangs out together anyway. So you guys go and give a round of applause while you're back there so we can know you're there. <laughs> nice. I don't know if you're overloading my mic. I can't even hear it. <laughs> but I can hear you in the next door, next building over. Um, so at this time, Clarissa, you have a letter in front of you. If you choose to sign it, the time has come for you to sign your letter of intent. Uh, Coach, I'll let you have the honors. You ready? You ready to commit to Southwestern Oregon and and. Uh work hard and blood, sweat, and tears and do everything you can to be an All-American? Yep. Awesome. Let's, let's get that signed then. We're, we, we're happy to have you. All right, good job. Right. Go, ahead, go ahead and change your background there, Clarissa. Visual background. Yeah, can you get a virtual background, select background? And I think the mascot's welcoming you ahead of time. What's that? What's his name again? Rocky the Raccoon. He shows Rocky up to all of our sporting, sporting events. All right, I'd like to thank you guys on behalf of Athletic Director Banuelos, Principal DeRazo, uh, 
Assistant Principal Lopez Dirksen and as a Learning Director uh, Amber Hunt. We just like to thank you guys for uh, coming out for the Wrestler of the Hour. Clarissa Alvarez, this was her signing day. And we'll, we, we look forward to big things and look forward to other wrestlers trying to catch her records and keep up with her. Once again, thank you for coming out. Coach, Clarissa, thank you. Here. Thank you. Parents, thank you. thank you for bringing up a great daughter. And everyone in the gallery, thank you for showing up and hanging out. Stay safe, stay at home, and stay healthy. And go Titans, or is it go Lakers? <laughs>